Who'd think it? Worth so few pennies when new and so many dollars now. Did you know I've got gypsy blood in me veins? I'll read you a piece of the future. This little beauty will be found in the possession of Mrs. Gray what was. As if it was any of your business. Why are you so anxious to pin it on her? She's nothing. She was in a sleazy cafe serving over a filthy counter when I first met her. I made her Mrs. Weldon Gray. Then she left. She walked out on me. Shocking. Imagine somebody not wanting to stay with a lovable gentleman like you. Get out. I'll meet you next when I deliver the insurance. I heard about Spider-Man and I didn't believe it. I've seen him, and I still don't believe it. Well, I gotta look at his face. Well, better you than me. He was probably furry with six eyes. Don't be a fool. I would swear that was Peter Parker. How would you say that's good or bad? Gives me a chance to get rid of Spider-Man before he interferes further. Now, that ain't all bad. Once I've taken care of my ex-wife... Lieutenant, if I had anything hidden, I know that your men would find it. I would give it to you before you tore my place apart. Sure. And Christmas comes on the first and third Sundays of every month. I read the search warrant. I guess I can thank my ex-husband. I never would have figured he'd go this route. Just for the record, Mrs. Gray, he's busting his butt to protect you. He didn't volunteer the information that you have the keys to his office. Okay. He's a nice guy. I don't even know where the keys are. Anyway, you are not looking for keys. That's right. We have certain information, maybe wrong information, that makes the search seem like a good idea. Of course, you're sure we won't find anything. Lieutenant, I have not been sure of anything since I was 15 years old, and I'm not about to tell you how long ago that. Lieutenant. Tape to the bottom of a drawer. Recognize this, Mrs. Gray? Would you believe me if I said I have never seen it before? No. Look around. There's four more of these somewhere. I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to come downtown. Anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You're not required to answer any questions or make any comments. You're entitled to the services of an attorney. The way I'm being set up, I don't think an attorney would do me any good. Let's go. I'd like to say I admire your photographer. What's his name? Peter Parker. Parker's ethical stand on not revealing information, although it probably worked to my disadvantage. Well, if he'd known who committed the robbery, you certainly would have. He'd have passed on the information. Well, as a matter of fact, the robbery's been solved. I couldn't believe it, but the police have an airtight case against my former wife. They found a coin in her apartment. Only one? She had Confederates. They have the other. How do you know? Well, let's say I have reason to believe Come on. You can do better than that. Off the record? Of course. I won't print a word without your permission. Well, I've been contacted to buy back the other four coins. Have you told the police? Yeah, of course not. The important thing now is to get the coins back. 
I'm going to deliver $100,000 to the old Stimson warehouse in the Queens tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock. I consider that a bargain. Can I use the story in tomorrow's late edition? Not unless the police crack the case first. There's always the possibility that my wife will identify her partners. I hope she does. That way I'll get my 100000 back. Why are you telling me all this? Once the case is solved, Parker will be let out of jail. I told you I admire him. I'd like him to have this story, if that's possible. His ex-wife has been arrested. The police found one of the coins in her possession. What happened to the other four? Ray's buying them back tomorrow morning at 7 at Stimson's warehouse. A police trap? No, this is off-the-record information. Ray doesn't want the police to know for fear he might not get his coins back. He shouldn't have told you that. That puts you in the same spot I'm in. That's a risk I'm prepared to take. In fact, I don't know any way of running a newspaper without taking that risk. Look, do you think there's any chance you might be able to get me out of here before any more legal appeals? We're working on it. With any luck, we should have some news tomorrow. Yeah, by that time, Gray will have his four coins, and Mrs. Gray will have a conviction for armed robbery. You sound as if you don't believe she did it. I don't. Well, I'll keep pressuring the Bugles lawyers to get you out of here as quickly as they can. You'll hear from me tomorrow. Okay, six o'clock, eating time. Oh, looks delicious. Why not running a gourmet restaurant? Ah, uh, listen, it's not bad once you get used to it. When you finish up, slide your tray under the door, and I'll come back later and pick it up, all right? Thanks.
still think of Peter Parker as Spider-Man. How did that help us? Somehow he's escaped from jail without the police knowing. Get to a phone. Make an anonymous call that Parker's escaped. There's no phone here. I don't need you to tell me that. Haven't you ever heard of a public phone? Go to a supermarket or a gas station. Now, move! Go on. Complaint with the chef. 